This is M6EB, just wanted to do a bit of a, um, I did a review a couple of days ago on the uh, MD390 Titera that I got here. Brilliant radio, did a review on that, so you should check that out. Um, but I've had a couple of requests asking about how the software works and how you basically um, edit code plugs. You might have heard people talk, talking about code plugs. And code plugs is basically just a program um, that you can edit and then send it over to your radio and it will have all your repeaters in it. So that's basically what a code plug is. So as you can see, this is my local repeater GB7FC and these are all the torque groups within it. So basically, this is the software that you use. You can get this uh, free um, on the Titera website. I think it's tyt888.com. Go down to your uh, products, uh, select your radio, and you can get the software from there. Um, and the, basically the software is called CPS MD390. That's the, sorry, I think that's the code plug name, but it's, it's just called CPS, I think. Um, the icon looks like that on the desktop. So that's basically what you want for the software. Um, so when you've got the software, you'll have something like this. Um, if you want a code plug that, um, that I use, I can more than by all means send it you. It's got the majority of the repeaters in the UK in it already. Um, but I'm, I'm going to try and show you how I've understood it so that you can program your own information into it. So when you've opened the software like this, you want to go to open and then you go to the code plug. There you go, I'll use that one. Um, so you can open the code plug I'd send you if you require it or whatever one you can get hold of. Um, and the, the most important thing you need to do is go to general setting here and it'll ask you for your radio ID there, right? So if you go to the DMR Mark website, which is here, uh, and register your call sign, I think you have to send a copy of your license to them to validate you, a bit like Echolink, um, and they will then send you a radio ID. Once they send you a radio ID, it takes about a day, you put that number in there, I think it's a seven digit number. Uh, if you don't do anything else, you have to put that in there. Otherwise, when you key up your microphone, you, you'll seem like you're talking to, to the network, but it just won't let you in because you haven't put your ID in there. Um, so you can put your name at the top there, uh, location at the bottom here. If you want to put where you're from, I think that's when you turn the radio on, it will add those two lines of information on the welcome screen. Um, everything else I just kind of left blank. Um, you can tinker about with it if you like, it's, it's, I just didn't seem the need really. Um, button definitions there, on the side of the radio here, you have a top button and a bottom button and then the PTT in the middle. So basically there it's saying the side button on a short press will do this from a drop down, long press will do this and then that one short press and long press. Um, I've got my short press to high and low power, so if I get my radio and if I press, you'll see the H symbol on the display, if I press the top button now it's low, high and side button 2, short press will scan so if I press the, the bottom one it's now, that little symbol's come up and it's scanning that flash is red to show you that it's in scan mode, I'll turn it off for now so that's basically what that does. So you can set it to do those things and then just keep saving as you go along with the little save symbol there. This software is known to crash. crash sorry. Um, it is known for it, so I just keep saving along as you go. Um, basically, the, the way I've understood this software is you've got three things to worry about. You have contacts, excuse me, uh, digital contacts. These are all your talk groups. Um, so if you wanted to get a code plug from anywhere and you wanted to completely make your own, I would delete the whole of your channels there and the whole of the scan list and zone information, but just keep your contacts because that's the same no matter what repeater you go on. And then you've got your zone information, so these are the, the sort of repeaters if you will, and within those zones you have the channels which are at the bottom channels. So I'll just walk you through 
sort of quickly how, how I did it. Um, so one of the repeaters that I added was GB7FO. So what I've done is I've gone to the channels. So I'm in the channels now. Let me just go to the... Uh, da, 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 da. Right, there you go, channels. So you've got channels. So you'd select it and then right click. I can't add anymore because this code plug is full. I think it's a thousand channels on the radio and I've obviously used them all um, with all the different repeaters that I've programmed. But for instance, that's how you would do it. So if I go back down to GB7FO, so when you add a channel, it will put it at the bottom of this list. But let me just get to that. Here's mine. So there, it's got GB7FO, talk group one worldwide. So you would go into the setting when you click it, and that, when you add the channel, will just say channel one or whatever it is, and you then have to edit the information. So I've gone to the GB7FO website and found the information of the transmit frequency and the receive frequency and put those in there. Uh, we want it on digital mode. Da -da -da. We've got the scan list. I've added the channels. I live in, well, I work in Blackpool, so when I'm in Blackpool, I want the radio to scan the channels that are relevant to me whilst I'm in Blackpool. So I've created a scan list called Blackpool Roam and I've added the channels that I want to hear when I'm in Blackpool, when I hit that scan button to be within that scan list. But I'll show you more about that in a minute. Um, and then the channel name, you can name it whatever you like, but I've just called it FO, so I know that it's GB7FO, and it's Talk Group 1 Worldwide. So there's the offsets and everything for the, for the transmit and the receive for the, 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 the uh, repeater. Um, and here, this is where your contacts are, this drop down here where it says contact name, Talk Group 1 Worldwide, is just a drop down. So I've found within this list, all here, Talk Group 1 Worldwide, which is there. Um, group list leave blank, colour code, each repeater usually has a, a colour code, most of them are colour code 1, but when you go to your re local repeater's website it will have that information for you, um, and your repeater slot. Um, digital lets you have two simultaneous conversations on the same frequency, um, and they have them on repeater slot 1 and repeater slot 2. So some of these talk groups will work on repeater slot 1, and some will work on repeater slot 2. So, as again, you'll have to check with your local repeater to know which one to use. Um, so I've added that basically there. And then I've just gone along and I've just kept adding the different talk groups that I want to hear when I'm on GB7FO. So there's another one that I've programmed, talk group 2 Europe, which I've added the name FO, so it's GB7FO, talk group 2 Europe, it's the same information there because it's the same repeater. I've added it to that scan list Blackpool Rome. And then here I've gone down to the drop down, which are these are your contacts. And I've put it in talk group 2 Europe. Selected that. This is on the same repeater colour code. That should always be the same on the same repeater. And it is on repeater slot 1, this channel. So that is right. And I've just gone along adding all that one after the other in all the different talk groups. And gone down. The main thing to do is just use your drop down and select the different talk groups you want to access. Once you've got those that you want to access, so I've got what's the seven seven channels in GB7FO. So then we need to create a zone. So then we'd go up. Sorry, I'm just sort of doing this on the fly. I'm, I just thought I'd make a quick video to try and help anyone out that's trying to struggle with the... Um, so basically there's the zone information. So you just highlight it, right click and add the zone. So we'll, well, I can do this because it's, I've, I've got the space. So I'll just add and then I'll go down. And there's zone one that's been added. Now this is where you add the channels to the zone. So. Here we could call it anything, we want to call this GB7FO. I'll just call this one GB7FO1 because I've already got it. So it's just as a test. So you can call it whatever you like, whatever repeater is, and these are all your channels. So obviously if you went down to the bottom, 
yours wouldn't be at the bottom because you've you've just added them but mine are a bit further up because I've been I've done them a while back so let me just uh, there you go FO you can see there FO top group one worldwide e Europe like we did before and all you do then is just add them so you go add 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 and it'll just keep adding those in and then that's it basically and then you just hit your save button over there save and it would just save it and to explain on the radio how that, that works let me go um, right if I go into zone and I've added this so it'll be at the bottom so there you go GB7FO so this is the zone so this is what here is the zone so the zone is GB7FO and the channels you use the knob at the top to create see there you go talk group one worldwide Europe and so on so you can have up to 16 channels in each zone so you can keep going all the way and keep adding into the zone like that. I hope this has made a bit of sense. I'm, I've not really sort of planned this video. I've kind of just done it on the on the fly. But that's that's basically how it's done. Um, so you add your channels first of all the different talk groups within the repeater, and then the zone would be how you select the repeater, and then you add the channels into the zone, and then you've got scan list there. So this is when I said, you know, when I said I, I worked in Blackpool and I wanted to make it so that when I'm roaming Blackpool, I can select all the channels I want to listen to. So if I go down, it's a bit of a jumble, this, this one, because it's, um, it's very full. I mean, yours doesn't have to be anywhere near as full as this, you know, once you've got your, your contacts, you can kind of add it. There you go. Blackpool Rome. So this is the scan group that I've created. So you would just go to the scan groups, right click, add again like you did for channels and zone. And then I called mine Blackpool Rome. And then I've just gone through my channels and selected them into there, like we just did. But So that means when I'm in Blackpool, I'm going to listen to analog GB3 FC and then GB7 FC there and then GB7 FO. And then the PMR channels, the analog, and the call-in channel for 70 SEMs. And then another one of FO that I added later. So that's basically how you how the software works. Um, I hope it's been a help. I mean, it, it's I found it very hard to understand at first. Um, and then, But once I've grasped it, I thought I'd better try and uh, put something out there that might help some, someone program the radio. Um, I'll also put in the description where I got the radio from, a link from Amazon, uh, £120 is what I got this radio for, which was the cheapest I could find it in the UK, if anyone's interested in getting the same as uh, I've got. The, this is the, the MD390 that superseded the 380, uh, uh, it's the exact same radio as the MD380 except it's waterproof. So there's no difference at all. They're both fantastic radios. I've had contacts absolutely all over on it. Um, and it's a brilliant, brilliant radio. So I urge you, if you really want to get into DMR and you want to get, you know, an entry-level radio, this is the one to get. Absolutely rock-solid construction. Really well made. Really well laid out. Um, and it's just been brilliant. So I hope that, that video has been... a uh, it's a bit of help to you to be able to program your radio uh, and if I can help at all in any way just drop me an email or, or a comment below and I'll get back to you so well, this is M6CB thanks very much for watching